teachers of reddit what's your most not safe for work story from your workplace in high school we had a beloved teacher and i'm still friends with him to this day however he viewed taking attendance as a big waste of time and his class was enjoyable so kids rarely skipped it so he'd just give the class a once over and try to notice if anyone was missing and sometimes kids would yell out that a kid was sick well, on this particular day, he marked everyone as present, including a kid that was not in class as he was busy murdering his uncle. So the teacher had to go to court and say on the record that no, he is not providing an alibi for the student, he's just terrible at attendance. The administration really got on his ass about attendance after that, and he was good about it, for a few years, and then he went back to his old ways, saying it's very unlikely I'll have another murder during my class. A girl posted videos to Vine of her penetrating herself with a banana and a hairbrush. Kids quickly found out it was her, and almost every campus around knew about it. She was deemed banana girl, and she graduated early to avoid bullying. Sad part is, she actually died in a car crash a few years later. I subbed at a school once where we had a special ed kid who would not stop pooping in the stairwell. They had teachers escorting him from one class to another, he was theoretically supervised at all times, and yet every week or two he managed to slip away long enough to drop a deuce in the stairwell. I still pity that poor janitor. My friend's teaching mentor was insane. She told crazy sex stories to him, and a bunch of interns sent pictures of men in genital cuffs to cowhawkers, all kinds of bizarre stuff for any workplace, but definitely for someone who teaches 11 year olds. I'm a 7th 9th grade teacher. I'm only in my first year. Apparently an 8th grade student, 14 years old, was getting called a slut and other students were saying she was sleeping with 4 guys every week. She then stood up in my class, turned to the people harassing her, and yelled, I've only fucked 2 guys this year, so shut up. Being a large man in his early 20s, I completely ignored the situation and just asked everyone to quiet down and get to work. It was very uncomfortable. I have too many. The one that sticks out the most is the time my teaching partner and I were working after school. He went down to hall to use the bathroom and saw a line of high school boys coming from out of the girls bathroom. He taps one on the shoulder and asks what's going on here. Lo and behold, an honor student was in the girls handicap stall letting the boys basketball team run train on her to get them pumped up for the state playoffs. Of course she was expelled, but was allowed to walk for graduation in May. Some people let their freak flags fly. This chick was six freak flags over Texas. Caught two students having sex on top of a slide on the playground after school. It was one of these slides with the covered waiting area at the top. Her face was sticking out of the front of it, and his ass and feet were sticking out of the back. She saw us, another teacher and I, first and started screaming that she was stuck on the slide. He freaked out, banged his head on the inside and essentially tumbled back down the steps while trying to get his pants up. They were 5th graders BTW. School maintenance here, point to come to mind. At one middle school a boy came running into the office to tell everyone that he saw two people in a stall together in the bathroom and that a girl had been blowing a guy and that the guy had a huge dick, but I can't remember what word he said, he didn't use the word dick. At another middle school a teacher who had a bad case of the flu lost control of her bowels in front of her class. She must have been aware it was coming because the diarrhea started in the middle of the room and there was a huge trail of it from the middle of the room to the hall. We have custodians, but another main guy and I were close by, so we cleaned it up. I felt bad for her. She went home, but was back a few days later and stayed for the rest of the school year. I'm sure there are more stories been doing this for 20 years now had an autistic kid in our class two teachers myself included who wasn't potty trained depited being in a class level where he should have been he shits himself the other teacher is like tnt go get him changed and i'll keep the kids busy i take him to the bathroom and go to grab his backup pants the other teacher shrieks because one of the other students is pelting toys at her i go to take care of that mess takes me all of 30 seconds. I come back to autistic boy, and he has stripped himself, and smeared his shit all over the walls, toilet, sink, himself, it's a shit tornado. I almost quit that day. I've told this story several times, 
but here goes. I was an occasional substitute teacher in the town where I went to college. The band director often requested me to come teach if she was out sick since I was a music major and could work with the kids on their parts. Get in for a day and my instructions were to break the kids up by section and have them practice their parts. I spent the next hour listening to a miasma of sounds from woodwinds, brass, strings, etc but no drumming. If you don't know any drummers, they're always playing or banging on their laps, tables, steering wheels etc. Curious me goes to investigate the drum room, and I walked in on the token female drummer flashing her breasts to the boys in exchange for money. Another couple minutes, there probably would have been some banging. I will take this a different direction. My first week of teaching had its ups and downs. I was teaching a pet class and had a new kindergarten class for the first time. A few minutes into class, a little 5 year old boy raises his hand. Mr. Cowtipper, I have a problem. My pee pee is really hard right now and I don't know what to do. Holding in every ounce of laughter I had, I told him I was sorry and that we would talk about his problem in a few minutes. Not long after he raises his hand again. Yes, Caleb. Don't worry. It's not a problem anymore. He tells me with the biggest smile on his face. Gotta love teaching elementary. Oh god, that surge of hormones they get around that age can be super awkward. Props to any authority figure who can manage that without giving them a weird complex about masturbation. When I was an AU pair, I helped look after a 5 year old who recently discovered how great it felt to rub himself against things. The grandmother could be home on the couch, cuddled up with the little brother reading a story, mum was helping me wash the dishes, dad was outside tidying up the garden, and little Sknookums was heaving grunting, sweating, and grinding his way all over the living room floor. And, no, one, said. A word. Singularly the most awkward and hilarious moment of my travel experiences. My mom is a preschool teacher and here's the best story I heard so far. There was this kid who bit everything. He chewed on toys, walls teachers and of course other preschoolers. So one time a kid comes out of the bathroom that is in one corner of the class and his pants are down and of course his willy is hanging the second my mom notices the biting kid does too, but he's in the opposite corner of the class. He starts sprinting towards the boy and my mom does the same, but she being in her 50s is slower, but closer to the naked kid, she gets there just barely to grab the kid who's just standing there and takes him off the trajectory the biting kid is on with his mouth open and charging like a torpedo. If she didn't get there faster the kid would probably be scarred for life. That living torpedo is probably around 10 right now, and I heard his normal now. I had just begun class, freshman camp at a community college, and was going over what the day's plan was. A student walked in a few minutes late, sat down, and pulled out his computer. Upon opening the computer, very loud moaning sounds of porn emanated into the room for approximately 3 seconds. Once he got it to stop, he shakily said, I'm sorry. I stood at the podium and said um and a couple of times and then, give me just a minute, guys. I sat stood there looking down at the podium, trying to collect my thoughts as calmly as humanly possible, so I could continue class like nothing happened. After around 15 seconds of pure and uncomfortable silence, a kid from the back of the room let out a two-syllable, guttural chuckle. I lowered my head to behind the podium with my hand still clasping onto it above my head as I bent over and lost my shit. I laughed hysterically and uncontrollably for at least 30 to 45 seconds, emulating Stewie's ridiculous laugh from that episode of Family Guy, but with far more wheezing and high-pitched squealing. The entire class started laughing with me as soon as I started. After I was finally able to collect myself, I apologized to everyone and said I was sorry and that I had tried so hard to remain composed. Later, when telling this story to other faculty, they agreed that there's no time in pedagogy classes devoted to the appropriate reaction to poor noises being played during class, and that I did the best with what I could by not calling the kid out, I literally didn't make eye contact with him once, or kicking him out of class for something that was embarrassing enough as it was. Side note, the kid stayed for the entire class. I was impressed. Not me but the woman who taught across the hall from me. She was teaching a 9th grade math class and her classroom had those old fashioned pencil sharpeners that attached to the wall, and you turn the lever to sharpen your pencil. 
One of her students was sharpening her pencil every day during class and seemed to take a long time to do so because each time she would stand at the back of class sharpening her pencil for 2 minutes or so. After a week or so of this the teacher went to ask if the student needed help sharpening her pencil. Turns out the girl was putting her bag up against the pencil sharpener and was using the vibrations to get off in the middle of math class. Write your stories in the comments below. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.